Hi, and thank you for taking time to watch this video on a great product by Miller Industries. This is the Holmes DTU detachable towing unit. This is an extremely versatile unit that gives the ability to switch between towing a trailer and towing class 7 and class 8 vehicles. In this video, we're featuring a unit that we recently installed on a customer owned chassis. The Holmes DTU should be installed on a chassis with a minimum cab to bogey of 250 inches. Here we mounted two 48 inch in the ditch Pro Series toolboxes on each side of the unit for storage of equipment and supplies. The Holmes DTU has recently been redesigned by Miller Industries, improving a number of features. The rear overhang has been decreased. The unit has been improved to enhance front axle weight. The hydraulic cylinders on the DTU have been repositioned, thus helping get a higher lift height for the units you're towing. A 20,000 pound planetary winch is mounted on the unit. There are options for a 20,000 pound DP winch and a 25,000 pound DP winch. You can see here that we've clearly labeled the control stations. We've laid out the switches in a professional manner. The underlift on the Holmes DTU has a rating of 35,000 pounds retracted and 16,000 pounds fully extended. It has a 113 inch fully extended reach, which is great for a unit of this capacity that doesn't have a wrecker body wrapped around it. This unit has a 20 degree arc on the tilt and has a common crossbar with the rest of Miller Industries heavy wreckers. So being able to transfer forks and fork holders and other attachments is easy if you have those in your fleet. Here you can see the attachments that come standard with the Holmes DTU. There are five sets of forks to make great use of the crossbar. We have added underlift lights, and these are bright LED to this unit. Miller provides a great housing to protect them. This Holmes DTU unit has air free spool and an air tensioner also, which works wonderfully keeping the wire rope tight and clean on the drum. Another great feature of the Holmes DTU is the safety chains. These chains are not permanently attached to the bottom. These chains can double as recovery chains if need be, with a grab hook on one end and safety hook on the other. And we've also added a mounting base for the glad hands and seven pin connectors. Another optional accessory with the Holmes DTU is the wired remote control, as you can see here. In lieu of the wired remote control, there is an option for a wireless remote control. The best part of the Holmes DTU is how simple it is to separate from the unit. The first step is to position the front outrigger legs. These will support the unit from the front end. These are used when you need to detach the unit. Pull the pin on your fifth wheel, release the pins on the front mount assembly, and then deflate the rear suspension. What this does is it lays the weight on the front legs. Lower the underlift down to simply raise the base of the DTU up off the fifth wheel enough. You can see the clearance here. Turn your hydraulics off. Run a few handles to release the pressure on the lines. There are only two hydraulic lines to be concerned with here, and that is the pressure and return lines. Aside from the hydraulic lines, you'll have a few air and electric lines to disconnect as well. Quick disconnects make it an easy process. Here we'll take a moment, give you a few examples of the DTU detached from the unit so you get a good solid look at it. This is a unit that many times is purchased and installed by the owners themselves. But if the time is not available for you and you want us to install it, give us a call. We'll help you out. Typically, this is how you would leave it when not in use. But when it's time, you can see how easy it is to back up under the unit. It's already in position, ensuring that the front horns of the unit line up with the front mounts on your truck. Once engaged, it's simply time to lock it in place. And it's always good practice to make sure you walk around the unit just to ensure that you've covered all the bases for disassembling. It's just being safe.
reconnect your hydraulic hoses, ensure the pin on the fifth wheel hitch is locked, turn on your hydraulics, raise the underlift, thereby allowing the unit to settle on the frame with the guides at the rear. Your home's DTU is ready for the next tow. Now that you've had an opportunity to watch this video on the Holmes DTU, we hope you find it an intriguing prospect for your fleet. Thanks for watching this video. Please ensure you visit IdahoWreckerSales.com. You'll be glad you did.